The Rumor Report. Guys, guys. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Well, this documentary, Before Anything, The Cash Money Story, is going to be released on Apple Music. That's going to happen on Friday. Initially, this was supposed to come out in the fall of 2016. Then the date got pushed back to May of 2017. And now it's finally coming out on Friday. Now it is going to be Birdman narrating his childhood and what inspired him to change his life's trajectory by launching Cash Money. I mean, I would watch that. I think the title Absolutely. is terrible, though. You should title it Respect. Before anything. You know he uh, he wanted to come back up here to the Breakfast Club recently. So I heard. They yeah. want to come up this week, I think. I think well, we, we're all not in town, but I think he's, I think he's still going to come. I'm not going to show up for that interview, though. I'm going um, to duck it. He's going to come this week? No, not this week. He oh. was supposed to come this week. Why are you going to duck it? I'm not. I'm playing. Jesus Uh-oh. Christ. Uh-oh. But, but uh, yeah, he was supposed to come <laughs> this week. <laughs> well, here's the trailer for that documentary that comes out on Friday. As a kid, I saw it all. Everything went down on the block. They knew we was playing with that kind of money at this type of age. Everybody in their mom had some type of product from him. Growing up in these streets, watching a lot of my partners die, go to penitentiary. That's what I think turned his life on. Made me want to do something different in life. So I chose music and started Cash Money Records. So if they start from the beginning, they're going to start from when like Baby was a kid. How old is Baby first? 48. We got to stop calling him Baby. I'm just going to call him Birdman from now on. Well, it's supposed to be also a soundtrack that goes along with this. So I guess we don't know all that information yet, but we'll know on Friday. I want to see it. Yeah, I'll watch it. I would love to see that. All right, Travis Scott. According to sources, he is now a changed man after having a baby since Stormy Webster was born. Now, they're saying he's been on cloud nine since this happened, and friends have noticed that he's laughing a lot more. He's a lot calmer than usual, and that he is actually spending all his time on FaceTime with Kylie Jenner and his baby. How old is the baby? Traveling. Maybe two weeks old, I think, or a week week and a half old. Mm -hmm. I thought not, but didn't she already have the baby, but she announced it later? I thought she no. Had, she had a Super Bowl. I thought she had it the same day. No, Super Bowl. she didn't have it the same day as the Super Bowl. It was Bowl, right man. before. It was before the Super Bowl because he actually skipped out on the Super Bowl party to go right. because the baby was born. So I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I thought she announced that the baby was a month old or something. No, like that. <laughs> no. no. She had a Super Bowl positive. Sunday. That's what everybody was saying. She tried to shut down it. And he down actually he canceled an event he had Super Bowl because the baby was being. He had born. to fly back. All yeah. I'm saying is, it's a little too early to be a good father. Okay. Father, Why? Father, I mean, you can see a what? change in somebody immediately once a baby is born. Yeah, it usually kicks in a little late for the father, man. Well, it's kicked in according to people close to him right away. All right, Janae Aiko. She was on BBC Radio, and she is talking about her and Big Sean. They've been friends for a while before they actually officially started dating. But they can't say when that whole thing happened because if you remember, Janae Aiko was supposedly married and then got divorced. And Big Sean was around before that, after that, throughout all of that. And she did talk about in an interview actually going on a date with somebody. It seems like Big Sean because she talks about going to a basketball game while she was still in a relationship. Check it out. He wanted to take me out on a date. I had a boyfriend, but I still went. It was like to a basketball (gasps) game. You went on the date? Scandalous. But just as a friend, you know, because I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go. Like, I mean, I had never been courtside. And I was like, (laughs) and he's cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go. I told my boyfriend, like, I'm going to this game. Like, like we we weren't really, like, on good terms. So it was kind of just like, I'm going to this game. You know, he was just like, whatever. Like, it was, like, bad. But he was still my boyfriend, so I wasn't going to do anything with Sean. Yeah, right. Nah, B. No, you can't go. <laughs> but, I mean, they, she did say they were on bad terms, though. Still, no, you can't go. I'm going to go courtside at this game. If you want to no see way. me, turn the TV on. <laughs> and it's a little different for her, though, because her and Big Sean in the same line of work. No, still no. no but way. he did ask her, like, Mm-mm. on a date, and she said, well, I'm in a relationship. So it was with the intention of, so but, no. hey, I can't date you, but I'll go to the game. Yeah, I can't still go on no. a date with you, but I'll go to the game with you and dinner afterwards. Okay. She didn't say nothing about dinner. You just added that in. Yes. Now, here's what she had to (laughs) say about her relationship ending and kind of uh, deception. We didn't break up because of Sean. We broke up for other reasons because he was married secretly. I didn't know. He was married to his baby's mother, who they weren't, they hadn't been together, but he he wouldn't give her a divorce. And I found this out because she basically told me and blah, blah, blah. She didn't know about the baby mother beforehand? Uh, well, she didn't know they were secretly married. married, so she didn't know that he was married 
I guess he never told her that he was still married. Now, she went on Twitter after this interview and she said, maybe because I was homeschooled, I never understood the concept of gossip. Definitely seems like a high school activity. With that being said, I saw a negative spirited tweet about myself with lots of retweets and likes based on one quote from a full interview that was about one moment in my life, which I did nothing but go to a basketball game. This quote has turned into gossip because of speculation. Before you respond, continue to read. Yes, I do have time today. In 2012, I, I was in a relationship with someone who was secretly still married married to his baby's mother the whole year and a half we were together this person was not that so it wasn't her I'm gonna be honest with you husband the whole year and a half we were together I found out and we began to separate he moved out of my apartment we stopped speaking and then I went to a basketball game with a friend even though we weren't speaking I called my then boyfriend and let him know I was going because I'm considering does it matter though why is she explaining all of that I guess because people saw that one clip and by, mm-hmm. and by the way, if you don't provide any grist for the mill, then people won't have anything to form an opinion on. It's right. not like they just pulled that out the sky. They're responding to what she said in the interview. She should have just put up a little basketball and put course side bitch, you know, or something oh like that. My goodness, she. To show that she is unbothered. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.